Hello there everyone. Today what we're going to talk about is to you will be using something called G overlay. It's, it is a software that is uh, superb when it comes to to um, show your FPS uh, in inside uh, of a game. Um, and it can also show other things like your CPU, um, your GPU usage, the, your temperature, the use of your VRAM and the RAM in your computer, and also how many FPS you have in the OpenGL, and also uh, when you're gaming with Steam, uh, you will also show the, the Vulkan uh, FPS. So this is what we are here to talk about and uh, as you can see I have installed here a uh, geo overlay here and uh, <coughs> actually what we're going to configure for this is uh, this part is called man mango hut and <coughs> as you can see here my my set here you can see the settings and here on the the right side here it will actually show up the so-called preview of what you have s selected what what he will actually show and you also have these options here on on this side where you will click in what he he will show here you can choose um, first i have clicked in the average load the temperature for the gpu also the VRAM and uh, the here you select the the load cover ha actually how much he, he will load I will show you this one later how does it work for the CPU you have the same the average load the temperature of the CPU the uses of the RAM in your computer and here you also have the load cover here on the extras <coughs> you will uh, tick this box that says FPS and in um, and in the game the FPS will actually show up here uh, one thing to think about here um, it's best to put this one in uh, unset because if this is set on unset you see let the game decide for, for you the the total of the FPS because this software has many functions and also what I have done <coughs> is after I have installed G overlay you click on this box the global enable box here and as it says here <coughs> if you are using Steam you know already that that if you are using some uh, extra command uh, for the start of, of the game you need to always need to add add a command and for this case the mango hood uh, is one you, you need to uh, add that one to to the command but if you click on this one and you enable the global the global enabled and click on save then uh, the G overlay will automatically show up direct you don't have to do anything so that is basically it what you need to do uh, with this software and also after you install it you should look here down to the left so you will see that the all dependencies are okay So what I'm talking about here is, is what you can see here under the general tab and this is for the God of War again. Uh, here you have the launch options now I have the game on run uh, command is because of the game mode that I have installed that I use this command and this one you will not need to set if you uh, click on that uh, option that I just showed you much more easy. Okay, now I'll start up this God of War game again 
and as you can see now up here you will see the the uh, the overlay uh, and you have the the GPU up here and how much uh, temperature we have CPU usage temperature the VRAM we are using the ROM the computer is using and also how many FPS we are having here so this one is uh, super useful so if I click continue here you see it's still there and what is good about this one is that you any game that you will use now this one will actually show up in all your global because we choose the global settings right let me see here where we are in this game we can have a little little check here how well it's actually is working All right so now we are in the game here again yeah there we are so now we can see it too we have 32 33 fps here 29 28 we start to move forward here we walk around a little That was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking Gratitude? Hey, fucking Gratitude, come over here. I like it. Some gratitude. Now you're talking. <clears throat> so... Another time, then. Hmm. So that is actually how this software is working, and you can see it's uh, super good for use in uh, when you are gaming. So we will return to main here. <coughs> so this is my roundup for the day. Is that? Um, as you can see, there is also tools for this on Linux that is working uh, super good. So you will always have control of your computer very easy when you are gaming. So you can see the load, the temperatures, everything. So I really hope that this video was uh, useful for for many of you. And uh, I like to thank you again for for watching here and uh, hit the subscribe button because it will be a lot more videos in the future okay thank you very much